everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button this is the second review of my new series hit rewind and we're gonna be talking about pixar's 2008 so in wally we're living like 700 years in the future but unfortunately in this future planet earth has become unlivable due to it being or populated by everybody's garbage. So the Earth needs have moved out of planet Earth and are, you know, living in space. Let's face it, people like you and me, we we would not be on that damn spaceship. I kind of find it to be kind of like 2012 where I'm pretty sure you have to buy your ticket on the spaceship. That's who's gonna be funding these kind of deals. So, you know, I'm pretty sure we would all just be dead. No, we never actually saw any like bone. I don't think we saw any bones laying around, but I mean, it is a huge ship, but I mean, I seriously doubt that that spaceship is going to house all of Earth. So, and I don't remember them saying that there's other ships around. So, yeah. So, Wally is basically the last little machine left to clean up the Earth. And it's a tiny little thing compared to the ones that are up in space. Um, I don't know what happened to the other ones. I don't think they ever really said. I guess, I guess they just died out because there's just too much trash going around but Wally is just like the little engine that could and just never gave up and you know has his like eight to five job he is alone besides the cockroach and there's actually no dialect the first half of this movie until we do get into space well actually once Eve kind of comes around then you start getting like little words here and there but I mean there's just so much said with like no words he does kind of carry the the film solo the, the first part and then of course we do get eve which is a fancy little robot and of course it's a little girl robot and now uh, we do get a little love story within this as well she is on a mission to try to find life on planet earth to try to get these humans back to where they belong and not just continue to be up on space uh, mind you while these humans are up in space they have engorged themselves and now just kind of expanded <laughs> and they're just lazy people i mean the overall story and the message that this movie is trying to incorporate i think it's what really makes this movie special and really makes this movie what it is uh because you know obviously it's telling you look we need to recycle we need to do better because this is a real possibility that could happen is that we could get overrun by garbage you know and and we're gonna make earth just unlivable again we're not going to be able to afford these prices to get that ticket to get into that spaceship so we need to take care of our beautiful earth you guys as if i actually recycle well I, I i recycle some you could do better than me you know you the younger generation if you're watching this do better of course when we do get to the spaceship and we see the people and it's just on their phone and just you know which is scary because even back then in 2008 when their technology was you know not where it is today nowadays you do see more people just on their phone just constantly you know when you wake up and i'm gonna be honest i'm one of those people you know we're, we're blinded by what's really happening out in the world and we're just wanting to see what's on our screen i mean i'm not gonna lie i want one of those damn like little floaty chairs but i mean the fact that these robots are built to basically care of you and you literally have to do nothing like not even like freaking like dress yourself I mean, it just kind of shows the laziness that a human being is capable of going to. And I know some of you are probably like, no, I would never let myself get to that point. But never say never. Maybe like, I guess like if it were to happen now, like us, that really wouldn't happen. But obviously as generations go, like we saw in the pictures with the captain when the first captain started and like, you know, each captain just kind of started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And one thing is from like Casper, right? That little deal that he would have. But I mean, to this point, particular extent you know it gets pretty crazy um, and i'm sure there's some sort of scientist up in the lab like trying to make robots like this that are going to dress you that are you know that are going to be made for like let's say paraplegic people to try to make it more uh, accessible for them and and, and not, not necessarily have to uh rely on another human being especially when you do get older that may be the way that they start selling it to somebody uh for you know people who have disabilities but then next thing you know it's like they're in everybody's house i'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie you guys when i finished watching the movie i wasn't really a fan of it at beginning i did think it was really overrated as well i didn't have a love for it um as a lot of people do 
but now that I'm actually here and talking to you guys and just kind of getting more of you know like the overall concept and the message I actually do like it more now like I kind of want to rewatch it again and I feel like if I do see it again I, I am going to really have that love for it but some of the issues that I did have with it that hopefully you guys can explain to me down in the comments uh, comments below kind of like how I said with the Dark Knight Eve why is she programmed to just like shoot at everything that might frighten her like supposedly earth is you know abandoned nobody's there right i don't think it was ever really mentioned about about any kind of threats so why does this robot have a gun let me know please kind of got it when you know she got stuck to that thing you know my met it and she shot her way out and okay that might be why but like why are you programmed to like shoot like movement because remember when she when wally was like kind of like stalking her like why there's no investigating let me go see what's making this noise it's like i hear a noise bang i hear a noise bang so i'm just i'm just curious i don't know if that ever came to your attention or if you thought about it but when i was watching it that's kind of like one of the main things that i had like not an issue with but I just didn't understand it and I still don't so that would be nice to know because like again I don't remember any kind of like real threat uh, mind you I know there's like that crazy ass like computer that was the evil one right the wheel for these machines to have guns I mean I would feel like at some point we would have been like oh it's because there's like aliens or there's some sort of like monsters like lurking around but I mean if there's just like other machines kind of going haywire it's like well maybe we should just have something like to sh uh, short circuit them or whatever also i know a lot of people are like oh it's so cute like wally and eve um wally's a little bit of a stocko he's kind of like a stage five clinger if you think about it i mean he literally followed her into outer space i know some people are like it's, it's so cute it's so romantic okay like literally like on a spaceship went into outer space for this girl i mean yes that's love but like in eve's perspective it's how i would do it like i'd be like what did i do for you to be this clingy on me yeah i think those were my only real issues that i had with it so if y'all can let me know down below about those that'd be nice because you know i have questions and I would like answers if you have them for me. Thank you very much. I do plan on doing a Pixar ranking once I watch the Cars movies. That is right. I have not seen Cars. And uh, I do plan on incorporating Cars into this um, series as well. Well, my plan was to do it once Soul came out. But unfortunately, you know, it got pushed back. Because uh, we were going to get two Pixar movies uh, this year, which... Um, it's Onward and Soul. We did get Onward on VOD, but I don't know what's gonna happen with Soul. Overall, Wally is really cute. Um, I think it has a really, really great message. Um, so if you have not seen Wally, and if you do have kids, I do really recommend uh, for you guys to to watch this movie. Of course, all the sound mixing and sound editing was um, really great. It has to, especially with the first half of the movie not having any kind of like dialect with it. So yeah, that's all that I have for you guys today. I do have one other review coming up this week that's gonna be for Reservoir Dog. And of course, if you missed my last uh, review for The Dark Knight, um, I'll go ahead and have it come up wherever it comes up and I'll link it down below. But of course, before you guys click out this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!